Welcome back to the show. Now, would you pay more than $100 to sit for 12 hours and listen to a man who claims the world is run by lizard aliens? <laughs> well, that's not all. Former British TV sports presenter David Icke is telling the audience on his Aussie tour that he believes the moon is a gigantic spacecraft and 9-11 was a conspiracy theory. David joins us now. David, good morning to you. Good morning. You know why they're doing it? Because they've got a mind of their own and they've taken the self-respect to look at the detail and, and then think, that makes some sense, mm. I'm going to know more. That's why. They're intelligent people. They being mm. the people who pay all that money to come and see you talk. I talked for 12 hours and mm. all that money, there's a whole team has come across the world to put this on. Mm. And um, I will swap what you earn with what I earn any day of the week, mm. OK? What's the um, go with aliens, then? Can you give us a, an indication of what's happening there? Well, if you look around uh, the ancient world, you look at the, um, the beliefs and the uh, stories and the legends of the Aboriginal people, even, in Australia, mm. there is a common theme of a, uh, a force that's been manipulating human society. And they call them all over the world different names, but when you do the research, and I've been researching this for 26 years, not 26 seconds, mm. um, you find that these different names are referring to the same force. And it's a force that's manipulating human society. And let me put into context, very quickly, um, this whole thing about um, aliens. And people go, aliens? What? Let me put this into context. According to mainstream science, the electromagnetic spectrum is just 0.005% of what exists in the universe. Mm. Visible light, which is the only frequency band that we can see mm. in a world that we perceive, is a fraction of the 0.005%. And even within that sliver of visible light, this planet, compared with the size of the universe, is equivalent to a billionth of a pinhead. Mm. Do you think there could be um, other life I other do. than humans? I do. Yeah. Yeah, Carl's always believed that. I have. Um, let's, yeah. let's drill down a little bit into some of your beliefs. You, for example, think that the moon, our moon, is a hollowed out space station. Well, um, it's a hard one like to buy, that yeah. one. Yeah, a, a little bit like that. But, I mean, this, this um, was first suggested by um, Soviet scientists from the Soviet Academy of Sciences, mm. who produced a, a detailed um, breakdown of how the moon cannot be natural and everything uh, led them to believe that it was hollow. And when you um, look at what... Uh, Is that worth scientifically, given gravity? Well, they, they are scientists from the Soviet... Uh, yeah, they're scientists. So, mm. so therefore, you know, um, you either believe them or you don't. And uh, there was a, a book written some years ago, again by serious people, mm. called Who Built the Moon, which was breaking down all the extraordinary anomalies mm. that relate to the moon, because mainstream science cannot explain why a body that big, bigger than Pluto, can be going around a planet that's small. It makes no sense, and they can't explain how it came into being. And lots and lots of ancient uh, tribes and, and tribal peoples have this, the same um, legend that the mm. moon uh, was brought here, and there was a time when the Earth did not have a moon. What, shipped in by trucks or something? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, a good one, nice one. <laughs> no, but seriously, when you say it was brought here, brought here how? <laughs> well, it was moved. But how? Well, like I mean, if, if you're going to have if, these if it, theories, if it, if you it, need to actually explain it, you, the you, theory you, behind you, your you, theory. You've just said that um, he says it appears to be a, a, gi a, a giant spacecraft. How does spacecraft move? Yeah. No, a hollowed out space station is your theory. So how does that move? How does spacecraft move? You're the one with the theory, not me. Yeah. You don't even know what my theories are. You, you think you, that the you, moon is a hollowed out... You've been briefed this morning by, a, by a, a researcher. You don't know what my theory well, is. I'm trying to understand it on behalf of the audience well, so they can understand it. Well, you're asking me how something moves when, 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 it, when it's a, 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 a form of spacecraft. It yeah. moves like a spacecraft moves. Uh, are the aliens amongst us? They are, yes. Yeah. And uh, what form do they take? Well, they take a human form in the way that we see them, yes. Are you alien? Um, well, we're all alien in the end. Yeah. What, um, what does that even mean? Well, it means not of this um, human society, shall we mm. say. So are yeah. there any humans left? Well, of course there are humans left. They're, how they're, can you tell the difference? They're the ones being manipulated. But how can you tell... The, can you tell the difference between what's a human and what's an alien? No, not really, no. But, um... But doesn't that kind of blow what you're saying out no, of the water? No, it doesn't. No, it Why? doesn't. Why? 
When you, when you have uh, talked to um, insiders who've worked on the inside of, of the intelligence agencies, etc., in America and in Britain, and then you, uh, you talk to uh, people who uh, carry ancient knowledge from, from the ancient world, and they're both uh, telling exactly the same story, that there are people um, in positions of power who are not human as we would perceive human, and they are manipulating society in a particular way down a very... Uh, a dangerous and, and uh, um, uh, dark road. And the reason that thousands of people come to my events is because what was in my books in the 1990s is now being read on the television news in changes in society. Do you, see, you, you get very defensive about all this, don't you? Um, is, is that, is no, I get exasperated. I get exasperated because the mainstream media and most of human society looks at the world down the wrong end of a no, no, telescope. No, I love it. I love, I love these theories, but, but and, I'm not... But I'm not, like it, no, it, but it, I'm not slugging people a hundred bucks to listen to my rubbish. Do you know what I mean? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, you know the... Uh, Huh? Wow, that's brilliant, mate. Well done. No, no, I'm just... That's I, the mainstream... No, no. That's the I, mainstream... No, you I, don't know it's rubbish. No. You've never read a book. You, you won't come and see the talk and okay. see it all put together. Well, you tell us. You tell us who are the aliens. Is Vladimir Putin an alien? No, well, Lisa, don't get too aggressive. This is, this is a joke. <laughs> no, I don't... This is an absolute... But is he? No, come it's on. Not a, it's fun. This is a joke. You should, I I'll tell you what... You shouldn't I, be getting I, angry. I'll tell you what's... Why are you getting so angry? I'll tell you what's always also a joke. Because it's so serious to where human society is Yeah, but you've got to defend what you're saying. Is Vladimir Putin an alien? Let me put this into perspective. One of the things up there was 9-11, right? Yeah. To question 9-11 is kind of strange and a theory. Yeah. Right? Were there weapons of mass destruction in Iraq? Were they? No. No. But we were told they were to justify mass slaughter of the innocent. Yeah. The same people, not the same agencies, the same people that told us there were weapons of mass destruction in Iraq to justify an invasion were the same people that told us the or, official story of 9-11. So why don't you question that when I, obviously you've been lied to on the other thing? Oh, hey, listen, um, where, do you, where, where can people see you? Because people are interested in this stuff. Yes, they are. Whether, whether they've we, got a mind of their own. Yeah, so where can they see you? Uh, Sydney Town Hall on uh, Saturday, start yeah. at 10 o'clock. Well, oh, sweet. Um, right. And if you, if you like it, go along and have a look. And we appreciate you coming along today. Not a problem. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, David.